you know, we had our we had our opportunities. We had some uh, uh, open shots. It, it didn't go down. Um, you know, we, we we had our chances. That's all you can ask for on the road. You know, tough team. Uh, you know, uh, just just didn't close it out. And, and uh, like some of the looks we got, I like um, you know I liked our, our defense. They made some tough plays. Blake made that that fast break down at the end. It was a heck of a finish. Uh, but I, I I thought we did a lot of positive things tonight. Defensively, was it just the Pistons making plays at the end on the on the down one play drawn up with with Levert driving? No, that's was exactly, that? I draw that the same thing tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that. It was a fade keep. He got got downhill on Drummond. Uh, you know, I, I do it again. Karras to his right hand from the elbow uh, on a switch. You know, against their center. I'll, I'll take we'll take it every day. I guess the question was that was it more just Pistons executing defensively, play yeah. good play drawn up, just they made a play defensively. No, listen, they got they got they got good players. They're a good defensive team. They were you know tenth ranked last year. They they know how to get stops. They got some good veteran players. But uh, again, I, uh, I I thought the third quarter, you know, that's <laughs> you know that's that's when we we we, we kind of lost it. Uh, you know, I thought we turned the ball over a, a bunch and and they got out and ran and and that's. Kind of where they got their separation. So you got to look at the game. Like, well, where does that, where does that separation come from? Where do you, you know, uh, uh, where does that, you know, lead or or, or uh, increase? And I, th I thought the third quarter was key. Was it uh, a lot of that was against the starters, and a lot of that was inside. Um, were you figuring at that point it was probably just kind of difficult to have Jared and Ed out on the floor because you needed. Ed kind of as Jared's backup, or was it something? Yeah, we had to alternate those guys, and, and quite honestly, playing those guys together offensively is tough. Like it's you just, you just be the, you know, there's, there won't be a lot of space out there. So, um, you know, listen, I thought, uh, you know, Blake's a Blake's a heck of a player. I, I, I thought we had a good strategy in place. You know, I was I was worried about them shooting 43s tonight. We held them to 20, 24 attempts. I, I thought our defense was really good. I, I, I uh, you know, the offense. I think our offense got a way, you know, it's got a ways to go. But uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff to clean up before the next game. With all the talk of Levert in the off season, how encouraging was it? Even though in the loss to see him perform the way he did game one. So, you know, him and I just thought the whole team were on the rim all night. Like we, you know, we we Joe drove it, he drove it. Uh, Spencer obviously was was driving it, and those guys, those guys with their speed and our spacing, they should live at the rim. And uh, I'm really, really pleased that we 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 put so much pressure on the rim tonight. I thought Jared was good on the rolls. Uh, you know, and, and I thought in the first quarter we had a bunch that we missed, a bunch of little bunnies in there that, that, that didn't go down. So, you know, you leave with some frustration that we had, we had some good, good looks that, that, that didn't go down. But uh, uh, I, I, was, um, I was, again, pleased with the defensive effort overall. Zelo in the fourth, was that a matchup or was he nursing something? Or was that... The other guys were playing great. You know, I, th I thought Spencer was playing great and, and Karis sometimes, you know, Karis was playing great, Joe was playing great, and, and obviously we need two, you know, two big guys in there. So, um, you know, yeah, tonight it was him, another night it could be Spencer, another night it's, it's that's that's a good problem to have, that we have a lot of good guards and, and uh, uh, you know, Karis and, and Spencer were having that, you know, two, two really good games. When you looked at three-point shooting uh, throughout the preseason was kind of a theme, the poor shooting. How much of that do you think is just a, a factor of the injuries? You know, you don't have Crabbe, you don't have Carroll. Right? Can it get better? Are you happy with the looks? Oh, obviously, Alan Krebs, you know, top five, you know, three-point shooters in the league. You, met, you know, you miss a guy like that. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, Damari's a, Damari's a, you know, 38% career, you know, uh, three-point shooter. So you miss those guys. There's no doubt about it. But, um, that being said, that you know, you know, I thought we had, I thought we had good looks, and I, I thought we passed up some threes. Like I'm not happy with, I don't know, 27 threes. We want to be up near 40, you know, 45. But, you know, give give the Pistons credit. I, I you know, like I said, they were ranked 10th in the league defensively last year. I think they got a, you know, they got they got physicality, they got Drummond at the rim. You know, they're 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 a good team defensively. How big was Joe Harris doing the dirty work? I'm sure some was out of necessity given the injuries, but just, just so glad we have him back. You know, uh, just uh, he's he's got great heart. He's he's after every loose ball, uh, and they, again tonight he's at the rim all the time. He's not just a jump shooter. He, he knows how to play the game, competes defensively. Uh, you know, I, I thought he uh, you know played his heart out. Mike, you get Allen back for the next, or do you have a better idea? Of uh, you know, I think it's possible. I, I, I think it's possible. Uh, again, we'll evaluate it tomorrow and, and uh, at practice and, and, and see where he is, but, uh, you know, possible.